Hello everybody, I'm your host, Metrodon, and today I have a video for you telling you exactly how to defragment your PS4, which can lead to fixing errors, improve latency, and increase smoothness when you're playing in games. In my video on how to fix the split-screen character glitch in Arc, a person named Matthew Hillman brought to my attention that he defragmented his, his PS4 and it fixed the issue. So I wanted to show you guys how to do that because um uh I don't have any I don't have any videos on that. So basically you're gonna go, you don't want to go into power here. Go down to power options and just turn your PS4 off. Okay, so after your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, and as you can see the light is turned off, and my monitor is going to the no signal screen, um you will you will see that it'll just be off. And so this is basically how it's gonna look when you fully power it off. And you're going to want to grab your cable here to, that charges your remote. You're going to plug it in. You're going to plug it in just like that. And by the way, if you see like my PS4 is propped up a little bit, that's because there's a very small slit where uh, air can get in. So I just have that for better airflow. And I just have it down here in a pretty open area. And so then you're going to grab your cable. You're going to want to grab your PS4 controller. Mine is a camo one, but otherwise you can have like black, red, blue, multiple different colors. And then right in the front here, you're going to plug it in just like you're charging it. So just like that. And you're going to um, hold the power button here until you hear two beeps. Alright, there are the two beeps, and now I'm going to bring you guys up. And so you're going to grab your remote, you're going to press this PlayStation button right here, just as directed. Alright, and so then, you'll be greeted with this screen, and you will not be able to control it with the, um, the joystick, so you're going to have to use the, uh, the arrow areas on the opposite side of the remote that the, um, X square O triangle are. So then you can have restart PS4. So you can restart the PS4. You can change the resolution. You can change the resolution of your system. You can update the system hardware if it's refusing to update. You can restore the default settings of the PlayStation 4. Or you can rebuild the database, which is the um the thing we're going to be doing today. Otherwise, there's initial P initialize PS4 and initialize PS4 and reinstall system software. So, initializing the PS4 and reinstalling system software does exactly what it says. It just deletes everything and then reinitializes the the software. And then this does the same thing, just it doesn't reinitialize the system, system software, I guess. So basically, you're going to go in here, you're going to go rebuild database, and you're going to click OK. This is then going to take a little bit, but... Alright, so now the PlayStation's rebooting here. Oh, and also, this is a, um, this is possibly a risk to your storage. So, of course, um, you can, uh, off, you can copy all your storage onto a, uh, thumb drive or a external hard drive if you're really worried about your data. Though I've never lost anything, so... You should be okay. Just be aware it is possible. Um, otherwise, it'll take a little bit depending on your Wi-Fi speed and everything like that. And um, if you've ever done this before. And um, according to PSU.com, apparently you should do this every month. But really, it's if, if you don't have any issues, you don't need to do this. But if if you may... If you're having like maybe some issues or inconsistent frame rates or you just want to try it out because it won't really hurt, then you can um you can definitely do this and uh it it might um speed up your system a bit. And so uh I'll bring you guys back when it's done. Alright, so it it has finished. You can then just press the PlayStation button and log in like normal. And uh, everything will be working. You're not going to be in safe mode. 
and um, you can use your joysticks again and uh, yeah so that's basically how you do it um, everything should be in the same spot and everything so it shouldn't have uh, messed up anything and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if this was helpful make sure to um, like and subscribe for uh, more content like this uh, comment down below if this helped you or if um, you have other tips to increase the your PS4 and um, yeah so uh, yeah thanks for watching um, share this with anybody who who else has a PS4 and they haven't watched this video and uh, yeah so thanks for watching see you guys in the next one